Today we will talk about uh, rate and streaming, specifically about the rate uh, in the uh, activity diagram simulation. Uh, this is new capability uh, because of the standard expansion. Uh, we get ability to implement new things and um, uh, we'll demonstrate how it works. Uh, we are using space uh, system sample, space station sample, uh, which is built in with some modification. You can download the sample from the description of the video, some uh, slightly modified. Uh, here we have space system, which has space telescope, which takes the photos. And then we have space station, which uh, uh, adds the colors to the photos, filters, uh, the, uh, applies the filters to the photos. And uh, here we have this uh, space as you can see space telescope takes the photo and sends the photo and then space station colorize the photo right so now uh, what happens here is that uh, if we don't have the rate right uh, uh, if we don't have the streaming here yeah, so then uh, based on this uh, chart as you can see here and then you can find the document docsnomagic.com you know uh, searching by streaming or rate you know that um, in uh, activity execution logic the outputs and uh, return parameters are generated at the end right so when this finish we get a photo right uh, and then this photo is sent here we have input and then we perform this one and then we quit right so without uh, streaming what we get you know that uh, this one will start right uh, uh, will do some work right uh, and then uh, once it ends it produces this one if it doesn't end does not produce anything right uh, so uh, that's why streaming is uh, introduced into simulation and the standard and if you apply the streaming so the logic is different until activity is uh, active action is active it produces output so as you can see here until this will do the job you know this uh, will produce uh, output so uh, here is the logic of this um, this space telescope uh, and you can navigate from here from space telescope to its uh, its activity or from here you know uh, doesn't matter you know the same uh, uh, activity here so you see this gathers the light uh, takes some time to do it uh, focuses uh, then creates the record uh, the record goes out as a photo you can see here and then we are counting increasing the count and assigning the count to number of taken photos so we uh, and then we repeat so we have this loop you know which will uh, generate the photos but photos will not stream because this will not end so we can see how that will work so let's run this uh, with context run so you see it does something right huh? It does, uh, it takes actually time, so we need to run with the config, you know, that time would be relative. So as you can see here, it does something, right? It results into the loops here, and then uh, as you can see, space telescope produced things, but uh, you see space telescope actually took the photos, you see this is like space telescope taking photos, but there is no output because the streaming was false. Right, so see how that works again, you know, inside of this one. So let's see here, run. So we see it produces output. And then one more output, you see this count is of outputs, right? But no one is consuming them, it's still zero, right? Zero colored photos, right? Because again, it's not streaming, so it can't produce, it waits till this one will end, you know? This will never end, right? So, okay, so it's easy fix now. Let's apply streaming st uh, streaming uh, parameter properties. So apply here, apply. Now it will work. So now we will uh, run, you see? So now it is streaming. It's streaming, you see? So as much as it's producing, as much it's consuming. How I know we can check that you know here we have space telescope number of taken photos 28 and space station number of handled photos with a little bit delay but same amount right so here we can see here the logic of handled photos so we get the photo 
increase the counter, assign the value output photo value, and send that value to number of received photos. So we record the number of received photos and also go here to add filter. And again, we have some duration constraint which takes random time, right? So now, um, so we have here uh, telescope uh, taking photos, sending those photos here to the space station. Space station is handling those photos. So where to use rate and why to use rate? So rate uh, represents uh, how fast we can send those photos here to the space station. At what rate? So in specifically, you know, and you can check here, you know, about the rate. Uh, uh, specifically, uh, how many items we are sending per time unit. So we can have uh, defined time unit in the simulation config here. Simulation config time properties, like for example, hours. Doesn't matter that step size is 001, you know, this is just granularity of step size. And then we can specify that, for example, two per hour, right? How that will work? It will work like this, you know, this can produce like 10 per hour, but only two per hour will be allowed to send. So this is kind of important, you know, we are limiting the rate. If it will produce less, it will um, send uh, less. But if it will produce more, it will also send uh, only at that rate, right? Okay, so now let's see how this will work, you know, and um, to assign the rate, you can see here there is rate property, rate on the pin, but we need to uh, assign also for this uh, parameter and also for uh, for this uh, activity node and also for parameter. First of all, let's create instance specification to capture the rate. So instance specification, let's call it two per hour. Then let's go to that instance specification and search specification set two. And again, this is in the units of the simulation. So we have in specification specified two. Now open this pin, drop the rate, open this one take uh, activity parameter node, drop the rate, and then also this parameter selecting containment tree, open and drop the rate. So it takes some extra steps here to t assign the rate, but it's not very common to assign the rate and uh, it will be high usability later on. In any case, it works. You can create the instance specification, drop the rate to parameter, activity parameter node and pin, and that's it. So we, here we have the visu visually uh, represented the rate. If you don't see it, actually by default symbol properties hides it. So in symbol properties, you need to uh, show the properties. Actually, not only the properties show um, tagged values. Here we see show tagged values, right? And now, uh, now let's run this simulation. And you see it backs up those uh, uh, received uh, faster than rate allows. And even we got uh, more of those taken, you see taken photos, red line. We only handle appropriate amount, like 12 steps, 12 hours, 24 were handled. And also we save those results here into the instance so we have here last instance as you can see here with timestamp uh, operation time number of taken photos 32 number of received photos 24. so this is how the rate works it's really simple here but there is some logic you know which uh, which uh, helps to understand using the rate and now we can limit the rate of communication so thank you for your